Today we're installing Arch Linux in less than five minutes. I made this specifically for you to build whatever you want. It gets all the essential packages out of the way uh, so we can do it. So we're just gonna boot into the Arch installation media here and we're gonna start this off. I'll put a little timer down below and you're gonna see how quickly it installs the base. This is meant to where you can install any desktop environment you want or if you just wanna have a server to maybe do some troubleshooting. You can do that. So let's go ahead and start right now. We'll start with a just a Pac-Man SY Git. Uh, this is just going to grab the project that I created to do exactly this. If you're familiar with Arch Titus, this is just a different branch of it I've freshly created for this specific purpose, mainly for an advanced user, but pretty much anyone can use it. So we're going to go git clone dash b for branch, and we're just going to say server branch, and this is on the GitHub's uh, Chris Titus Tech, Arch Titus. And this only gets the server, so that you can pick any package you want from here. So for you more advanced users out there, this is just perfect. You don't have to worry about getting microcode, video drivers, all of that. So we're just going to call this Arch Titus Server. And we select our drive here, so dev VDA. Here's a probably be a little different. This is SSD, even though it is a VM. Uh, better FS is usually what I choose, but EXT is an option. Select our time zone and our keyboard layout. I'm US, so I'll select both those. And now this just goes ahead and installs all the base packages needed for a full boot. Bootloader, the Linux kernel, everything you need. Uh, and then it even does some customization, such as grabbing Yay for the AUR helper and uh, setting up your user for you. So everything is there for you to build whatever you want with the absolute bare minimum packages to have a bootable Linux. So this right here is just setting up the mirrors. Uh, nothing too fancy here, much like the original Arch Titus, except this one does not install any kind of GUI. Our mirrors are done and it's now formatting the disks. I made everything front loaded on this one to where you just answer those three questions at the very beginning of the script and it just does everything for you. So even this, if this does take longer than five minutes, uh, which it may depending on my download speeds here, uh, it is not going to be much more and you're not going to have to sit here and babysit it because it's never going to stop at a sp specific spot. And here is the actual user setup portion where it is installing yay and uh, in getting all that going for you. So this makes it very easy to where a noob could easily drag and drop whatever they want installed. You can modify and fork the script and add custom packages, but I wanted to just get the base ones outside of the text files to where you just go and do this. And it's so easy. All right, there we go. That one took about four minutes. I've had this go about three and a half, depending on the luck of downloading. So with that, let's go ahead and we're going to just do a power off here and then I'm going to eject the installation media so you see what the boot is. Uh, we'll just say no CD-ROM and we're just going to boot back in and here we go. Custom bootloader. This is my favorite theme, which is CyberRE and it is already booted up just like that and uh, let's just install NeoFetch just so you can see how many packages we have and we'll just do a NeoFetch 180 packages you, you just can't get any better than that uptime uh, boot is about 10 seconds uh, and from here you can create your perfect system I wanted to make something very easy for a noob to basically get in here use Arch in uh, frankly I find Arch very attractive to the newbie user and uh, a lot of different ways because you can just install pretty much everything at a point and click once you get the base set, system set up. It's just a lot of noobs end up going for like Manjaro or you know even other ones like Gruda Linux and these have just ridiculous amounts of packages sometimes numbering in the thousands uh, by the stock defaults. And I wanted to kind of give a good base for people to build on. And that's really what this is. And also to showcase, you can install Arch in five minutes, uh, less than five minutes using my script and the server branch. 
Uh, so with that said, if you have anything, definitely go to my GitHub on Arch Titus. Submit a pull request if you have any suggestions or if you have an issue, submit it there as well. Uh, I've cleaned up a lot of stuff over the past couple months, and this is a pretty streamlined strip. I, I will make more branches, maybe like a GNOME branch. Uh, the main Arch Titus is KDE based with a bunch of customizations, which I know some folks don't like. And that's what I wanted to do with this one is do just a bare minimum server branch. Uh, so with that, I'll see you in the next one.